Hello, my name is Ian Berger, and I'm here to tell you about a very special book which I think you're going to want to read. This book is called A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. A Long Walk to Water is a book that really opened my eyes to what it means to be a refugee. Now, a refugee is someone who comes to your country, comes to our country, um, fleeing somewhere. They're leaving, most likely leaving their country or leaving the place that they live with whatever they can carry mostly, and then trying to find a new home and a new place. Um, these people come to our house and they're very, they come to our country and they're very needy. And sometimes it's hard to understand why exactly they're coming or what kind of difficulty they're, they're encountering in their own home that caused them to make this incredible uh, um, uh, decision. A Long Walk to Water is a book that talks about that. A Long Walk to Water is a book about a young man named Salva Dut. Salva is, uh, lives in Sudan, and in his uh, country in nineteen in nineteen eighties, there was a civil war that racked the country, and gradually Sudan was splitting into Sudan and South Sudan. So this is the beginning of that war. Salva was actually a wealthy young man. Um, well, his family was. They lived in the village, and they were they were affluent. But what happened was, the war reached uh, Salva's village, and one day when he was in school, he heard gunfire, and the teacher yelled for everyone to. Uh, run and go hide in the bush, okay? Run away from the gunfire. So Salva ran to his village and didn't come back. And what happened was now he was separated from his family, he was separated from his home, and he's separated from everything. He doesn't, he, he, he leaves his village with nothing but the clothes on his back. And during the book, Salva has to go through this incredible odyssey where he walks across Sudan, um, uh, first, to, uh, um, first to Ethiopia and then to Kenya, and he has to, uh, he lives in two refugee camps and he faces numerous dangers. Um, one, uh, one what I want, um, here's one example of text, amazing. Salva had never seen anything like the desert. Around his village, Lunarik, enough grass and shrubs grew to feed the grazing cattle. There were even trees. But here in the desert, nothing green could survive except tiny evergreen acacia bushes, which somehow endured the long winter months with almost no water. Uncle said it would take three days to cross the Okobo. Salva's shoes stood no chance against the hot stony desert ground. The shoes, made from rubber tire, tire treads, had already been reduced to shreds, held together with a little leather and a great deal of hope. Only a few minutes, after only a few minutes, Salva had to kick off the flapping shreds and continue barefoot. And this is Salva going across the hot desert. And this is only one of the many, many obstacles. And one of the things you see is Salva goes to this journey and starts off as like a 10-year-old boy and grows into a rather magnificent young man. You're going to learn about why Salva left, what, how difficult the life of a refugee is, and you're going to see Salva go through a magnificent triumph. Now, the amazing thing about A Long Walk to Water is there's also another story in there. It's a story of Naya. She is a girl about Salva's age, and actually the story of Naya takes place um, <clears throat> It takes place 23 years after Salva's story, and Naya lives in a village, and she, every day, she has to walk twice to get water for her family, and she has to walk, walk miles and miles and miles every day. It completely takes up her day, walking to, walking to get water to fill up the jugs um, and then come back for her family. She can't drop them. Sometimes there's thorns. She hurts herself. There's the hot sun. And it's a story of what Naya is doing, what Naya is dealing with because her family doesn't have access to good water. And there's going to be a point, a beautiful moment where the Naya story and the Salva story come together. So I think you should read A Long Walk to Water and understand maybe what refugees go through. And you'll see how Salva keeps going despite just incredible odds in some 
terrifying moments. Okay, so please t do yourself a favor, read this book, and I and I promise you, it will open your eyes.